Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark on Aberration, and today we are, uh, we're working on some stuff, okay? So this one right here, this is the second little kind of cliff platform place. I just went ahead and made this one the exact same as the old one over here. So these two buildings are going to serve a very important purpose. This one here is the breeding room. We're going to have creatures breeding in here. We're going to have the eggs being collected in here. And from here, we're going to move the eggs over to this next room, which is the hatchery. Now, this one is going to be built specifically to hatch the creatures and raise them. So in here, we're going to have different things like air conditioners. We're going to have a hitching post. I have a bunch of eggs because we're going to be doing some hatching here today. Uh, we have all the other bits and bobs here to kind of store the eggs and everything and some other stuff here, too. So I think let's just jump straight into this one. And um, actually, before we do, let me show you one more thing. So we also painted it. I don't, uh, you can't really see too well. Eh, there it is, you can kind of see it. So we have Navy going along that metal strip there and then we have Cyan around the, uh, the kind of outside of these pieces here. And the one over here is the exact same. Let me kind of show it off a little. Oh my God. These doors are like really derpy, they keep pushing me. Um, you can kind of see it, it's, it's kind of hard to tell though. Let me, let me do this, nope, this. Oh no wait, we're already gamma though, crap. Wow, it's just so dark. Look at this. This is like normal gamma. Just so, so dark. I don't know why. All right, let's gamma up there. Sweet. So yeah, you can kind of see it's it's all painted and whatnot. The ceiling's painted, the floor's painted. It looks pretty good, I think. Um, definitely nicer than just having it plain metal. So today, I think, let's first of all start off by actually decorating this place a little bit. So I got some foundations here. We got some other bits as well. Let's kind of uh, drop down some of these pieces. I'm gonna need this, gonna need this, and we're gonna need all of these as well. Cause we're gonna have some, well, we already have the lights down. We're gonna have some lights uh, being powered from a generator in here. And we're also gonna run wires over to that one as well. Cause we have lights in there that need to be powered. Um, okay, so I think uh, for this little thing that we're gonna build, I think I wanna build it like back here maybe. So let's start off right here maybe. Eh. That looks, yeah, we could start there, I guess, and then go across. Maybe come out another one here. We could probably, can we go through the plant? I think we can. All right, I'm, need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely need a couple more foundations here, but maybe we could stick a generator right here. Um, let's pop this guy down. Let's turn it around. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna have our generator there. Uh, then over here, I guess we can stick down the fridges. I'm gonna have fridges specifically so I can store the eggs and not have them spoil in like a uh, crafting bench or something. Is that stuck into the wall? I can't even tell. Hmm. So I actually initially had planned to uh, craft up some of the tech bits that we unlocked, but unfortunately, um, you're gonna need the the tech replicator to actually even make any of the tech bits on aberration so i unlocked the the sleeping or what is it called again the hyper chamber sleeping pod whatever where is it uh there it is we unlocked the sleeping pod um and we also unlocked the rock drake saddle you need a, te a tech replicator for those as you can see i don't have that learned like if i did i could unlock that where is the tech replicator anyway um it's like one of these blacked out images. Uh, it's probably down here somewhere. There it is. I don't have that unlocked, even though we fought Rockwell. It's ridiculous. So we got to go to the island with this character, and I'm just not set up to do that here today. Also, we did a live stream where we crafted up a bunch of element, and we kind of had some fails and stuff. You guys want to check that out as well. I've been getting a ton of these seeds. It's really handy. Let me check these in here. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of the plan, but unfortunately it didn't really work out. And also we lost another light pet, so we need to hatch up something. We need to get something going here. So I'm not sure if we have any mutations in here, but we're definitely going to be hatching all these up for sure. Uh, I also got to show you something over there that we crafted too. Uh, so yeah, we got our fridges over here. We want a feeding trough down here somewhere. So maybe let's put that over here. Uh, at, like at the end, I guess that looks okay. Um, and I want, uh, where's kind of the center-ish? Over here, maybe? Let's put this right here. I want a hitching post so we can hitch up some baby dinos that are being, uh, I guess, looked after or whatever. So, um, I also removed all the air conditioners that were over at the base over there. Let me actually go back there for a second because I'm going to need some more foundations. 
So, um, let me just show you this really quick. We had a bunch of hitching, or not hitching posts, we had a bunch of air conditioners over the far side here where we had um, our little kind of breeding station, the initial one that we built. So I'm moving all of that over to this new area. As you can see, it's all just missing from here. Uh, still gonna move these hatcheries as well. Let me stop off here really quick. We're gonna build up some foundations, so. Uh, let's make maybe 10 of these. I know I don't have very much stone left, so. No, we don't have enough for 10. <laughs> okay, I gotta swing my dotic at a couple rocks or something. Maybe I have some foundations here somewhere. Oh, hey, we got lots of foundations. All right, so I grabbed a couple foundations there. Sweet. Um, let me see. All right, so let's head back over, but I wanna show you this thing before we do. This is expensive. <laughs> this is the S Plus uh, charging station. This thing was very expensive. Let me show you its cost. It was like 4,000 metal or something. Uh, charge. Uh, there it is. Four and a half thousand metal, 10 charge batteries, and 400 element ore. So really expensive to make. This thing here will charge batteries and it's essentially gonna pull charge and charge itself from creatures. So let me just show you. We have a range on it, as you can see. So anything within this range right now it's gonna be pulling the uh, the charge from those creatures, but it's already full up right now, so it's not gonna be doing it. But essentially, I want a little pen where I'm gonna have just a couple creatures, and we're gonna have this, and they're just gonna basically feed that thing constantly. So we can have batteries going, we can have all that good stuff, because eventually we're gonna have batteries to get a charge injector, which is also part of S+. Plus. Um, we're gonna have that down there to stop Nameless from spawning. So yeah, let me go back in here, and let's get them up again, sweet. Okay, so let's place down some more of these foundations then. Um, so we want one here, and some over here, like so. That looks okay, cool. Um, so I think what I wanna do is, I wanna have my little hatching station maybe over this side, I think. So can we place, let me see, can we place these down on like, oh, we can actually, cool. All right, well, let's, uh, I guess we'll just start placing these down like this. Maybe we can just fill up like a full wall. Uh, like so. So these are the uh, air conditioners, of course. Let's just do this. And then, yeah, maybe we'll just keep going up or something. Because they have a pretty good range. Yeah. No, not like that. <laughs> okay, let me pick this back up. Yeah, up there, up there, sweet. We're doing it. All right, we have one more. We could probably just pop that right down there. That's fine. Okay, cool. So we have like a wall of air conditioners now. This is where we're gonna be dropping down things to hatch them. And speaking of hatching creatures, actually I'm gonna need some, uh, gonna need some mushrooms before I touch that actually, because otherwise they're gonna start starving. <laughs> All right, well, let's get the wiring done first then. Um, so let's pop this down. We want to extend it out and then bring it into that other room. So from here, I think what I might do is let's put down, can it be this side maybe? No, it won't be on this side. Let's do it over there, I guess. And let us do this. We're gonna have to put a outlet over here. That should in theory, wait, do I have any? I do, sweet. You can grab some more later. That should, in theory, power all of these, right? Yeah, it stretches right over and powers them all. Sweet, okay. So that's pretty much most of the lights done in here. Is this powered, though? That's probably not in range. No. Okay, we gotta bring the wire out that direction as well, so... Let us go ahead and do one of these. And let's uh, do this first, and then put down one of these. Okay, we need to get that one over there. So, and then number five. Sweet, okay. And then we have to get that one, but we can get that on the way with this wire here. We're gonna be able to hide all these in a couple minutes, don't worry, it's not gonna look ugly like this. Um, let us actually go like this. Hmm, how am I gonna get this to go 
into there. It's a weird angle. Hmm. Let's start off by putting that down really quick. Uh, that's a really weird angle. Like, it's diagonal. Hmm. We could pretty much just go through here. And then kind of like zigzag our way over, maybe. And then do like this. Let's gamma up there. Oh, my. Oh, okay, I'm already gamma up. It's kind of hard to tell. It's just super dark because the uh, it's 50% night, 50% day, and it's like in the morning right now. So super freaking dark. All right. Let me see. Let's bring this over this direction. Oh my god, this look. If you could not hide these wires, this would be like the messiest thing ever. Uh, so then a wire coming out this direction. We need to get over there. <laughs> this is like so messy. Um, we're already out of wires as well, I've just noticed. That is... Okay, let me see if I can get these. I can. Alright, is there one over here? No! Alright, well that one's fine for now. Uh, let's put one over here. Okay, so we're just missing this one over here in the corner, but I could probably, is, if I put that there, yes! All right, well, we can hide all these now. Uh, disable spark, hide nearby, oh, gotta hold down for this option. Hide nearby wires. Also, I forgot to mention, guys, if you are enjoying this video or the series, go ahead and hit the like button. It does help out a lot, do appreciate it, a lot. Is that done? How come this wire is not hidden? All right, never mind. I guess maybe when we unload the area, it might go away. Uh, let's do the same over here. Also, we have added up a zip line. I can show you that in a sec. Uh, so here's the zip line, just for Ravagers, uh, and then eventually Gigantopithecus if we can. Uh, we could just hang them on top of that and have them breeding on that instead. Um, so that's super useful. Okay, so all these lights in here are done. Sweet. Actually, you know what? I might add another one right here. I think I still have them, right? Where are they? There they are. Let's put one right there. No! It's not powered. Alright, whatever. Do I have another outlet? I don't. Do I? Damn it. Alright, whatever. We'll do that later. <laughs> uh, why? Ark just wants to hurt me. Okay. So we're gonna um, hide wires. Sweet, so they're all hidden. Now I just gotta do this a little bit. Disable spark, hide. Oh, hide wires. Then we gotta do the same on the other ones over here. So it's just kind of cleaning up the place a little bit. Um, definitely is gonna look really nice once it's all done. And let's do that. Also, I know you guys really enjoyed the uh, the cliff kind of, uh, I guess, what is this one here? The breeding room, maybe? The breeding chamber, I think is what I called it. I know you guys really enjoyed this one. This one over here is going to be a hell of a lot more functional, for sure. Because we're going to be spending a lot of time over here. We're mostly going to just be chucking dinos in between episodes and to that one over there. But in this one, man, we're going to be in here all the time. This is like, this is going to be the main place. <laughs> The workshop was kind of like the main place for a while, but now this is going to be like the main spot. So, I have a bunch of eggs. And we have these seeds. Let me take these. Do I have a transfer gun? Uh, I do not. Let me grab one. Let's pull some thatch. Are we close enough? We are. Sweet. Okay. Uh, this is it. Let me take all of these and add them into there. Sweet. So, we have all of our eggs refrigerated. We made these a long time ago, um, and we're gonna start hatching those up here today. But first, there was something I needed to do. What was it? Oh yeah, I need to get some mushrooms. Let's go down and get some really quick. Uh, I think, okay, oh, I need to drink something. You can use your sickle, right? That's how you get mushrooms. I think you can get mushrooms off of like the blue mushrooms. Or the blue spores, if you use your sickle, I think. Something like that. Let's hop down here anyway. If not, I can use my roll rat for sure. Uh, I could probably just fly down now. Oh, actually, shoot, I've just realized. We don't have a charge pet. Uh, we're gonna attract nameless now, aren't we? Oh, this is, uh, this is just the worst. 
Can I get one of these charge bits out, really, for a second? This freaking Ravager's over there. Okay, give me this. Do I not have this set to attack Ravagers too? How the hell do I climb? Let me... Th maybe that way? There we go. What? Let me climb up, please. Okay. <laughs> no. I don't know what I'm standing on right now. Oh, we had it. Alright, uh, let me see. Do you not freaking target Ravagers at all? Ravager. Except. Why are they? No, don't attack my things. Stupid Ravagers. These freaking Ravagers are just eating everything. Where even is it? Alright, I gotta kill that thing before I go down, and then I gotta be really careful that I don't screw up this place by it and like summoning like a bunch of nameless or whatever. Yeah. Okay, we got him. Sweet, okay. Now we just gotta get in, get out really quick with some mushrooms. Where? Over here, right? Please tell me there's still spores here. There's no spores. Okay. Why? Why is there no spores? Here's some. Alright. We need the yellow ones, I do believe. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's go to, to uh, floor 3. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Oh, man. Okay, so this is going to be enough to kind of feed all these creatures. It's got a little bit of fiber, which is nice. Alright, sweet. I guess let's hatch ourselves a new Featherlight. Because we lost the, the Featherlight the other day in the Baryonyx episode, where we also lost the Baryonyx. <laughs> Spoilers, by the way. Uh, we lost a one of the really good Shinehorns that I had uh, the other day as well. Um, where are they? There it is. We lost a shine horn during the Rockwell fight because for some reason I just I yeah it just disappeared for some reason I don't know why it didn't die it just disappeared. Uh, so we lost that shine horn, and then um, during the live stream we lost Wear Goat, which was our one of our really really highly leveled shine horns. So we're just having a really bad time in terms of light pets lately. Just tons of them are dying. So. Here we go, hopefully we get something decent. Hello little feather lights, look at you. 230, that seems pretty high. Do you have a mutation? Oh, it does. What is its mutation? Oh, I can't even see, there's a thing in my face. I feel like it's that color underneath. You see that? It's kind of like a yellowy or something. I'm not even sure. Hmm, all right, well, let me feed you dudes. Uh, you take these ones, right? I do believe that they take these. Do you eat this one? Maybe, let me give it some of, some of these, maybe? I know it doesn't eat these two. Hmm, all right. Let me see, let me feed the other one. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, this other one's eating. What's he eating? He ate those, okay, I knew it. All right, let me grab the other one there we go they're so tiny it's so hard to get their inventories all right sweet so that is just two little feather lights let's hatch up a couple more here we might get like a decent mutation uh, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just keep the one with the best stats and that could be our new feather light come to me there we go Hmm. No mutations. Okay, what level is everybody here? 227. That's you. No mutations. So he's probably got some pretty good stats then. Mission range. The mission range on that one over there was pretty good. Charge regen on this one's better though, I think. 
Yeah, it's slightly better on this one here. But the emission range is so much better, so we'll probably go with the emission range on that. See if one of these has, like, all of the stats. So 430 is the highest. Okay, so the charge capacity on this one and the emission range are higher on this one as opposed to that on the other one. So this, I think, is going to be the new main feather light. Heather light. We're just, yeah, we'll just name it Heather. I was going to do like V2, but we'll just leave it at that. All right. Enjoy some lovely mushrooms. Um, we're probably not going to keep these. We don't really need them. But what I might do is, is actually I might keep two unmutated ones and just put them in there constantly breeding or something. That could be a thing. Okay. So I guess we're going to find the best stats out of all these guys and then keep those ones... Uh, put them uh, off to the side. Uh, so 873, 430, and uh, 786. These two have the same stats. Are they male and female? Yes, they are. Okay, so that's going to be the two. We're not going to keep this mutation here. It's kind of like a poopy color. Don't really like it. Um, so let me see. Uh, I got to name you. Uh, just name that F. We're gonna name the other one M. So it's you, right? I think it is. Okay, cool. So that's the two that we're keeping for breeding. Because we're gonna eventually get a really cool... Oh my god, those freaking crystals and stuff are like bigger than these feather lights. <laughs> they could crush them. Guys, watch out. Holy crap. Uh, so yeah. We're gonna get rid of the rest of them somehow. I'm not going to tell you how we're going to get rid of them, but they're going to not be here in a minute. Alright, well we're going to do some imprinting on these things and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, well we've got our feather light fully grown up and imprinted as well, and I have these two over here breeding right now as well. So I think the last thing to do is to put the helmet back onto uh, this feather light. Um, we eventually gotta have it like leveled as well, so we gotta just pretty much leave it around for a little bit and it's eventually going to like gather up a decent amount of levels and we can kind of pump up its stats to be similar to what it used to be but probably with a little bit less health and more into the actual charge things here instead uh, let's um let's go for more capacity right now nice so I think I have the helmet somewhere in here right somewhere it wouldn't be in there maybe here it is alrighty Turn into a freaking dragon thing. <laughs> I love that so much. We're definitely gonna be keeping the uh, the Reaper skin on it, even when we do mutations. We're still gonna like get a a Reaper skin skin and color it the same kind of color as the main body, because I think that's probably the best one that you can put onto one of these things. It looks really really good. But uh, yeah, back to the whole um, this thing over here. Let me actually show you. Let me fly down here really quick. Oh, no, no. Ah, my god. Alright, I'll see you guys up there in a sec. Okay. Man. I gotta, I don't know. I gotta, like, get better at, uh, aiming myself with the flight suit. I think sometimes it just kind of launches you a little bit when you, when you kind of stop flying with it. Oh, it's kind of annoying. Alright, let's, uh... Just gather up all these things and I can kind of show you this other thing in action. Uh, we got this last one here. That one has four charge on it. Hmm, weird. All right, let's head up here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this uh, feather light in here and turn it off. Uh, so you gotta go like that, and then this right here. So it's got 5,000 charge in it right now. We're gonna put these in here, and it charges those up pretty much instantly, which is great. So now you can see it's down to 2,005, and we're gonna turn this back on. And now what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna charge itself from the charge pet beside it. But I do believe it might take a minute before this thing fully regens. Or is it gonna pull it directly now? 
Let me walk over here. Maybe like unload it a little bit and then come back. Oh, yeah, it look, it actually, oh wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong. I was looking at this one here, the charge capacity there, not this one. Okay, is it gonna, hmm. I don't know if I can actually show this happening, but it's, it's essentially gonna like pull all the charge out of this creature at some point, and it's gonna fill up its uh, current charge right here, and it caps out of 5,000, doesn't go any higher. So it just allows you to actually charge up your batteries, so whenever you have like empty batteries, just chuck them in here after a little while you can come back and they're all gonna be charged up and whatnot. But I have a bunch of batteries in a vault over here, which is where I keep them. Not that one, is it this? Yes, this is it, sweet. And uh, I've been using these to craft element and I think so far we have like 90 something. Um, so we have 30 and then 90, oh no, we have a little bit more than that. So what is this, uh, 90? 100, 114 so far. So yeah, we have a decent amount. I'm really happy. Um, God damn, it's gonna take a lot more to actually get into all this element stuff though. All of the techgrams down at the bottom. Uh, I think I have to be on aberration, right? There we go. So yeah, this costs no element for some reason. This thing costs 75 and then that only costs 20, but it's gonna take a lot of element to keep running. So just keeping on top of element here is going to be ridiculous, so I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to figure out a better way to actually get all this stuff more efficiently and uh, and craft our element all the time. Oh wait, no, we have to activate it. That's why it wasn't pulling it. No wonder. Although it did charge them when it wasn't. That's weird. Is it pulling out of that? I can't even tell. It's going down a lot quicker now, so I think it is actually pulling. Interesting. Maybe let's turn away and come back? No, I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Um, this was a massive project that had to pretty much be done off cam, so this video is probably gonna be a little bit shorter than usual, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next one.